Okay, guys, guys, listen. Let's just, just shut up. Just shut up for a second. Just listen. With Disney's acquisition of Fox, right? Everybody's been going crazy about how the X-Men and the Fantastic Four can fit into the MCU. And I have, all right, so I do have thoughts about that, but none of that matters right now because this is important. Okay, you listening? Deadpool 3 should be a road trip movie. Okay, wait, let me, that's, that wasn't the interesting part. Deadpool 3 should be a multiversal road trip movie about Wade trying desperately to make it to the MCU as Fox crumbles around him. Not only would this be a really fun concept, it would also be a perfectly on-brand meta way of getting me Merc with the Mouth into the MCU proper without having to recast or reboot. So, what would this movie look like, and where should Deadpool go on this multiversal odyssey? Ghosts of Marvel's Past. Deadpool, along with whichever supporting characters you want to make the jump with him, I'm guessing Cable, who would have to suffer several Thanos-related jabs. Pump the hate breaks, Thanos. Domino, uh, maybe that kid if you have to. The, the direct X-Men characters like Colossus and Negasonic might be kinda weird since they'd have to mesh in with the MCU's new reboot X-Men, so you might have to leave them behind. But uh, anyway, this merry band could travel to any number of movie universes from defunct Marvel properties of years past. And you know what that means. That's right. Howard! The Dark! Can you imagine what would happen if Deadpool met Howard the Goddamn Duck? This Howard the Duck, not the one from the MCU. This Howard from the weird, terrible 1986 Howard the Duck film which is absolutely real, and if you haven't seen it, you should make it your top priority to watch it immediately following this video. What is that? That's a what duck! That thing? That's a duck, man! Fun fact, the original animatronic duck that they tried to use for this movie burst into flame on set during a take, so they had to use a suit instead. This movie was made for Deadpool to pull apart. After that, he could visit uh, Wesley Snipes' Blade and be mad that he didn't get to meet Ryan Reynolds. Wesley Snipes, by the way, has repeatedly said that he'd be happy to reprise the role of the half-vampire vampire hunter, and you cannot leave that offer on the table, Disney. Wait, oh my god, I just remembered this is Disney now. Wade could visit literally any Disney property. Just try and picture the traditionally animated sequence where Deadpool, Blade, and Howard the goddamn duck jump into Snow White or an old Mickey Mouse cartoon. Howard could get into a fist fight with Donald. He a fist fight with Donald the duck! <laughs> Donald the Duck! Donald, or Donald Duck! Does, does Donald, is it Donald the Duck or Donald Duck? Wade could visit Fant Forstick and just make fun of the title for 20 minutes. Plus he could steal their interdimensional travel machine so that he can take multiple people with him to different universes. Do you remember that there was a multiversal travel machine in Fant Forstick? And somehow that was boring. He could even visit those other Fantastic Four movies and like run into Chris Evans as the Human Torch. That'd be fun. We could assemble a team of characters featuring Deadpool, a flaming duck, Blade, Nicolas Cage, and Goofy himself. And if Cable or Domino are there too, imagine the level of disdain they would have for every step of this adventure. Honestly, I really want Negasonic Teenage Warhead there now, just, just to see if her eyes would roll so hard that the universe would just implode. Okay, so, that's all well and good. But who's the villain of this movie? Besides, like, corporate synergy. Well, I thought about this long and hard, and finally came up with... The Captain Britain Corps. I know, seems kind of out of left field, but hear me out. The following is an excerpt from the Wikipedia entry for the Captain Britain Corps. Founded by Merlin, his daughter Roma, and Sir James Braddock, the Captain Britain Corps' main duty was to guard the multiverse. Each member protected his or her reality based on their dimensional equivalent of Britain, and was powered by the friction between dimensions. Is that, is that an accent offensive? Eh, that's probably fine. Okay, here are three reasons why the Captain Britain Corps are the perfect antagonists for this movie. One, wildcard characters like Deadpool work best when facing off against stoic, uptight authority figures. It's why he has such great chemistry with Cable. It's the classic funny guy, straight man dynamic. And you really don't get any more rigid or uptight than an entire multiversal army of soldiers in service of Her Majesty the Queen. That is definitely feeling kind of offensive now, I'm gonna <clears throat> stop that. And I mean, god, there's no shortage of material for Deadpool there. 
the England versus Canada flag waving would probably be worth the ticket price on its own. And Deadpool referring to his plan to escape from core custody as a Brexit strategy would probably be unavoidable. Number two, the core is designed to guard the multiverse, which Deadpool's road trip is actively disrupting. Not only is he trying to permanently relocate to an alternate reality, he's leaving a trail of nonsense and destruction across multiple universes in his wake. Number three, the Captain Britain Corps is exactly the kind of comic book deep cut that the guys responsible for giving Shatterstar a prominent role in their movie would absolutely love to do. And introducing multiversal police now would plant the seeds to make the increasingly alternate universe-oriented MCU a lot more interesting going forward. The score. I have two requests. One, you must include the Howard the Duck theme song. It's an 80s pop rock song about a duck sung by the mom from Back to the Future. And every word in that sentence is amazing. Seriously guys, watch this movie, it's insane. Two, at some point you gotta play the Avengers theme on a kazoo. <laughs> I don't like it any more than you do, but I don't make the rules, all right? In conclusion, I hope we've all had fun here today. My voice certainly hasn't, but really, at the end of the day, the bottom line is I know you have that animatronic Howard the Duck suit in storage somewhere, Disney. I need it right now. Deliver it to my door, I swear to- <clears throat> Yeah, next video will be, uh, not this.